वेलकम टू टेक गुरुकुल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हेड स्टार्टेड ए न्यू चैप्टर डिजिटल लॉजिक फैमिलीज इन दैट लेक्चर वी हेड लर्न अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट लॉजिक फैमिलीज इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डिजिटल आईसीज आईसी इज द एब्रिवेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स वी नो दैट द आईसीज व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग इन डिजिटल सर्किट्स आर नोन एज डिजिटल आईसीज In this chapter, we will learn about different logic families: RTL, DTL, TTL, CMOS ICs. So it is necessary to be familiar with the behavior of these ICs, the characteristic of these ICs. The characteristics of a IC logic families are compared usually by analyzing the circuit of the basic gate in each logic family. the most important parameters that are used to evaluate and compare these logic families are propagation delay power dissipation figure of merit fan out noise immunity operating temperature current and voltage parameters so these are the different parameters by which we will compare the different logic families so in this presentation we will learn about these all characteristics these all parameters so let us take the first parameter propagation delay now what is the propagation delay the propagation delay of a gate is the average transition time that a signal takes to propagate from input to the output means well, this is a gate when we apply a signal at its input it will take certain time to propagate to the output so this particular interval of time that say signal takes to propagate from input to the output is called propagation delay propagation delay generally measured between 50% of the transition of the input and output so this is the input signal applied to a gate this is the output of a inverter gate or not gate you can say this is the not gate so when we apply we won't get instantly the output but it takes certain time when the output goes from high position to the low so this particular delay time is represented by tphl tphl means time period when output goes from high to low and this is the another delay time when our output signal goes from low to high state that is represented by tplh so the average propagation delay will be the average of these two delay times the propagation delay is always measured in nanoseconds nanosecond is the 10 raised to the power minus 9 of a second this is measured in nanoseconds for example if we take a standard ttl ic and it has tphl is equal to 7 nanosecond and tp lh is equal to 11 nanosecond then if we want to average propagation delay that will be equal to 11 plus 7 divided by 2 means 18 by 2 is equal to 9 nanosecond so the average propagation delay will be the average of these two delays if we want to calculate the propagation delay of digital system then it will be the sum of the propagation delay of the individual gates and the speed of operation of a ic is always specified in terms of the propagation delay if there is a less propagation delay speed of operation will be more so it is always advantageous to be smaller propagation delay so the gates which we are using in a digital system should have smaller propagation delays and we should have used less number of gate so the total propagation delay of the digital system is smaller so it is always advantageous to be a smaller propagation delay so that the speed of operation or speed of an ic is much more now 